In this episode, we will talk about new upcoming NVIDIA RTX 4050 GPU. Before proceeding to the video, subscribe to my channel for future updates. Let's get started. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 will be the next generation mainstream gaming graphics card offering the latest graphics architecture based on Ada Lovelace GPUs. The graphics card will be replacing the RTX 3050, a very popular gaming graphics card in the sub-minus $300 US segment which is aimed at the mass consumer segment. Starting with the GPU configuration, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 series graphics cards may utilize both AD106 and AD107 GPUs. We don't think there would be a tie configuration in the lineup as we didn't get that during the Ampere family but it could change. The reason I mentioned both AD106 and AD107 GPU for the same card is that the RTX 3050 did the same. The card was produced on GA106 GPUs before GA107 became widely available in the market after its mobile debut. The RTX 3050 was always meant to utilize the GA107 GPU but Nvidia made good use of the GA106 dies that couldn't reach the yields required for the higher-end cards. The GPU is said to measure around 150 mm2 and will utilize the TSMC 4N process node which is an optimized version of TSMC's 5NM node designed for the green team. This is the same GPC count as the GA106 GPU. Each GPC will consist of 4 TPCs and 8 SMs which is the same configuration as the existing chip. Each SM will house 4 subcores which is also the same as the GA106 GPU. What's changed is the FP32 and the INT32 core configuration. Each subcore will include 128 FP32 units but combined FP32 plus INT32 units will go up to 192. And finally if talk about release date, the Nvidia GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards are rumored for a Q3 reveal and a launch is expected in Q4 2022 so we will know for sure what Nvidia is up to in the next few months. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed our video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future updates.